Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Okreke. I am making another video under the Math Lifting series uh, as part of getting started with modeling. And this particular video is dedicated to helping you read a text file. Read a text file. This is something that is very important. If you're ever going to um, use MATLAB to do something extensive, you typically will have some data written in a text file, maybe a CSV file, in an Excel file. And you want to import that content into your MATLAB so that you can then use it you know, maybe as part of further computation for yourself. So, and this is not really a difficult thing to do. So this, this video is aimed at helping you write a very short MATLAB code that can help you read a given text file and, and you use it for whatever you want to use it for. So, if you are, like this kind of content, please do subscribe to this channel and click the notification button so that when content like this are, are made, you'll be one of the first that will see it. So let's quickly go over to the PowerPoint slide that I've created, which will help us um, understand the, the processes better. So this is the PowerPoint that I've created. And so the steps first is you have the text file. It's got content within it. It could be in a notepad. It could be a, um, any kind of file. Then you read the file contents in MATLAB. So you want to read that file content in MATLAB, evaluate the contents of that file, make it available within MATLAB for you to use. And then finally declare the file content as MATLAB variables. So a flowchart would, that we can work with to achieve this is basically, we we'll start with the task, locate the file in the present working directory. Maybe you could find a different place where you want to do this, but the, the way the script works is that you have to look at the current directory where you, you've got the script and you're working from. You extract the file name and as a text file and save it as file name txt. Then create temporary MATLAB file to store your variables. Copy the contents of that file and paste it into a MATLAB file and then evaluate the contents of that new file so that the contents become variables within MATLAB in the workspace, then delete the temporary file, and then you come to the end. So this is a flow chart that defines what we are trying to do. So now let's go over to MATLAB and do the scripting. So here we are in MATLAB. I'm going to just clear the screen. So right at the top end here, open a new script and then we'll save that new script. So I click the save button. Okay, so let's call it read, read text file script. So something like that. So let's use that as our read text file. And the text file we want to read is this model DST file. So uh, open, there's a model DST. So if you open, so it basically gives you an idea of what the content of this file are. So I've got some parameters that are declared and then got some kind of debugging information that I'm going to use for another part of, of the code. So but the content doesn't really matter, it really depends on you. So but you want to read that and make it available in MATLAB. So if I currently clear, so I'm going to clear my workspace. So CLC. So if you look here, there is nothing in the workspace. So we're going to then see when we finish running the code if this becomes available in the workspace. So I'm going to open a new script. So first thing I'll need to do is to give it a descriptive name. So what is the name am I going to call this? So read text file. And then I'll do the other things that I always try to do. Okay, so this is the, the top end of the script, the kind of normal information. You give the author the date, the version, and what this script is about. So basically it's a simple M file that reads contents of an um, that read contents of a text file, not M file, text file, and makes the same available, and makes same available as variables um, within MATLAB's workspace. So let's move and then go to locate. The first thing we need to do here is locate the um, text file. So here, here are the set of commands that we will use in terms of locating the text file. So first, this will be the name of the text file that we want to use, just in case it was previous in the model before you started. So it's a good exercise to clear any existing file name that has this before you actually locate the one you want, so that the computer will not be modeled up 
then you now have this command that says my file name has to be taken from the directory so i'm using the dir command in the present working directory so you're looking for a file that has a txt extension so it searches through and find this txt extension again this is another command that tries to kind of do almost the same thing so the path name the name and the extension so you use five parts um so i'm gonna remove that space file parts no file parts for this file name and then in the end you extract that information that you want the next thing to do is we we're going to then copy copy contents of text file into temporary and file so how do we do that okay so here's the command that we're going to use to achieve this copying so we use the copy file command again you have to read this up if you don't know so we are reading from a certain source which is a current txt file that we've identified here so and then we are spring string sprinting the into file string sprint to file which is sprintf sprintf to in a temporary file name which we're going to call that and then at the end of it we're going to append it with the name of the file that we are interested in the model file so again try and explore these things if you don't know now the final step we want to now take is to or take on to the final so to run stroke evaluate um, the file the and file content okay so what do we do so here's a command for doing that so evaluating the file content so you use the eval function again print you know string to sprint file and the temporary text file name and the current name so this way is taking the content of this temporary file evaluating it and making it available in MATLAB then obviously the final step is where you are going to delete um, the temporary M file because it's, it's, it's kind of redundant it's not necessary if you evaluate it and you have the content now okay so the delete temporary file instructions or commands that we're going to use so again temporary to delete so there's a file name that we want to the temporary file to delete so again i'm looking in my current working directory i'm looking for this file okay so which is the file at the both okay and when i find it then this command finally deletes it and then of course the usual thing that i always encourage students to do is to create a copyright so make the code your own copyright so once we have all that okay so that's our file um, and we've already saved it so let's try and run it but before we run it let's look at the so there's nothing in the workspace so and on the so the windows so we've got the file so we'll now run the code if I click run and then I'll go and have a look at the command window okay so it's run so we can now see right away that in the command in the workspace the variables have appeared the column type all that have become available even the pvc so they become all available um, and and all the variables that were created were created along in the process so this way we now have been able to read the content of that m file so let's say for example if i clear the screen now so there was a pvc 2d variable that i have so you can see that variable has become imported in directly into matlab so if we look at the model file again which is top end here so this was what we have so we've got these variables and they've all been created in here so we have successfully done that um, so we can also check another content call type so the call type value is also available so this is one way that you can take the content from a text file and make them available for, for your use and thanks for your interest in this video this is the kind of content that you you want please do subscribe to my channel and click on the notification button and do suggest any kind of video you would like me to make so that i can continue to help you get started with modeling thank you very much and um, see you in the next bye